Welcome back to the Coach Cameron Podcast, or, sh- or should I say, welcome me back. I, I took a hiatus. I didn't want to be here. Or did I? I don't know. We're going to talk about this and talk about soccer. It's not stopped. According to COVID, COVID-19, you can't stop soccer. Or can you? Depends on all the Karens, I guess. All this on episode 530. Uh, so episode 537, where have I been? I've been on hiatus. I've been running a lot. I've been changing my diet. I've been fighting all the many things. I'm gonna, I still got problems with my camera. Uh, so be, I build up a, built a new podcast room where I need to fix the lighting. I'm going to go get lighting today. And that's what I'm going to do. So uh, first thing is, where where have I been? I'll show you where I've been. Um, so I'm going to switch over to my iPhone. So since this whole craziness has started, I've ran 376 miles, burnt 51,000 calories, gained one friend on um, Map My Run. Uh, yeah, I'm running a lot. And now my knee hurts. So my my knee hurts now, and so I have to walk now. I'm at that age. I'm old, so I'm running because I'm dealing with all the craziness of this world, and uh, it's stressful. So I run to save my life, and uh, yeah, that's what I've been doing. And I just not up for podcasting. Of course, I was on vacation in Bainbridge Island for a while, and uh, I ran. That's what I do. Is I run. Uh, I also picked up a new diet to help with my sanity. Uh, the, if you go to my Instagram page, Coach Cameron Soccer, you can probably su- search me. It's Coach underscore Cameron Soccer. Uh, apparently, someone else took it. So, yeah, here's uh, what I eat now. I'm a vegan. Uh, I eat leaf- leafy greens. Oats. I eat oats. I do all these crazy things, um, and I eat a lot. Much as I want, and I'm not gaining any weight because it's all real food, which is always awesome. So uh, I'm on day eight of doing that. Um, I'm doing the Wim Hof breathing. I'm cold plunging. I'm doing all that to stay sane. And I and the what I think is working for me right now, as far as keeping me sane and functional, is dieting. So I'm 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 a vegan, not because I don't want to kill it. I don't mind killing animals to eat, uh, not, not like dogs or something. But I'm I'm a big fan of steak, uh, bacon, eggs. Love it all, but I'm not having it anymore because I'm I'm trying something new, thinking it's helping, and thus far it's helping. I have more energy, um, I'm more stable, I'm more functional. I'm doing a podcast right now, which is rare. Uh, I feel better, so that's the good news. I'm here. I'm functioning. I have a new podcast room. I need better lighting. I'm going to work on that. Uh, but, yeah, I, I'm feeling better. I think I can do this five days a week again because I've been off for two, three weeks. Seems like forever. Four weeks, a month. I don't know. I did a podcast on Saturday mainly because I promised my Phoenix College uh, guys uh, to talk about our goals. And uh, I set pretty tough goals. Not tough for me, but uh, um. I'm focusing on allowing allowing the process to happen for us to give, you know, focus as we're shut down forever because of COVID-19. It's crazy. Uh, we are shut down forever, and that's the way a lot of people like it. And if you're, the, uh, if you're one of those people that like what's going on and they just want things shut down because they get a paycheck, they feel really good, you know, a lot of – a lot of people that work for government get paid by the government to sit at home. Uh, there are consequences coming your way, ladies and gentlemen. They're coming to get you. and It's called the crash of your economy. You're going to get it. We're all going to get it. Why, why can't everything be open like Walmart? Can't we just social distance wherever we are and just be free to make our own decisions and suffer our own consequences? No, we're little babies, and we have to just we have to just stay home, stay safe, because we don't want to infect and kill Grandpa. Well, guess what? Grandpa and Grandmas are getting killed and slaughtered everywhere anyways, depending on the governor and where they're th- throwing those 
the elderly, put them in those death camps all over the place. But we'll just give them a high approval rating because that's what we do. Yeah, nothing makes sense. Every, all this stuff I'm talking about, this is what's driving me sane. Nothing makes sense. Nothing. And that's why I'm losing my mind. Yeah. Anyways, um, I'm, uh, uh, the, the, besides me coming back and the world is crazy, uh, I, I did go uh, to soccer this past Friday. I took my son to play in 6v6 league and uh, Hispanic. The, the reason my son plays is Hispanics because they don't let COVID-19 shut them down. They'll play soccer. You can't take culture away from people. It's like you can't, you just can't do it. It's not going to happen. They're going to play their soccer no matter what. I won't say what league. I won't say where and or anything. I don't want I don't want the Karens to shut it down or whatever the term is to shut things down and report and call the cops. Oh my gosh, we're playing soccer, even though we're right by a freeway and everyone can see us anyways. Um, I'm shocked we haven't been shut down yet. I'm sure it's coming. They they play all the time. Can't stop them. I mean, there was there's games happening, like a oh, huge. Um, the uh, amateur league was going on. I think Arizona is one of the few leagues actually doing doing things. Um, yeah, nothing's shutting down when it comes to uh, culture, the culture of, of soccer in the Hispanic community. You can't take it away. That's that's what they know. That's what they love, and you're not taking it away. It just it's not happening. So uh, my son played, and they tied one one, um, and it was brilliant. I loved it. I loved freedom of participating and I and I get all I get all you people. How dare you be out there amongst people? We only approve Walmart, Home Depot and you know, QT or wherever you can go. You, you can't have fun. If you want to be unsafe, do it according to where we tell you to do it, you rule breaker. Um yeah, so we played soccer and I enjoyed it and I loved it. And it was fun. I, I truly enjoyed it. So, yeah, um, I, I'm going to end this broadcast letting you know I'm coming back daily. I can do it. I can do it. If I stay strong, I can do it. Uh, um, yeah, I'll, I'll be coming back. That, that, that's, the, that's the goal is to come back. So I'm leaving now because I can and I will. So thank you for joining me on episode 537. I may, I may have an episode 538 tomorrow. That's the goal. Um, I think I will. Because unless I start eating sugar, bad sugars and and bad stuff, I might not make it. But if I'm not back tomorrow, it's because of my diet change. If I'm back tomorrow, I'll be day nine of, of veganism. I'm a vegan, but not a liberal. But I'm a vegan. Save the trees, I say. Save them. And don't kill animals unless you're going to eat them. All right. I'm out. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Goodbye.